for you, the fans. And of course, Joel makes lots of great promises and we'll supersize this cake next year. How's that sound? Um, we also have a couple of other exciting, wonderful guests who want to say hello and welcome you to Memphis. There is uh, no bigger and better ambassador for the city of Memphis. Please welcome to the stage, President of the Memphis Convention and Visitors Bureau, Kevin Kane. Thank you, Kevin. You know, on the national news this morning, they were wishing happy birthday, and they listed about seven or eight people. And I thought it was interesting. And then they said, and also, it's Elvis Presley's 81st birthday today. Now, you know what's so interesting about that? Every other person they were mentioning their birthday, they were all still with us. Elvis was the only one that they mentioned that was not alive today. A testament to the king of rock and roll. Now let me say as I say every year, Memphis would not be Memphis without all of you. You guys are what make the tourism and hospitality industry shine in this city. We love you. We appreciate you. Long live the king of rock and roll. Happy birthday, Elvis. We've got to pull the microphone. He's the tallest guy in town. <laughs> Our next two guests are two champions of this city and this county and in this entire region that means so much to the world, not only for our music and culture, but for delivering the world on time, the amazing medical research that comes out of this community. Uh, one of them is spending his first full week on the job as the mayor of Memphis, and this was the first thing on his calendar after getting elected, so you guys should know how special he is. And the other guy, he used to be the sheriff, so we know Elvis would absolutely love him. So so please welcome to the stage Mayor of Shelby County, Mark Luttrell, and the Mayor of Memphis, Jim Strickland. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm Jim Strickland. I'm really the new Mayor of Memphis. I've been on the job eight days, and I can say by far this is the coolest thing I've done. Um, I uh, unfortunately never got to meet Elvis. Uh, when I was 13 years old, we moved to Memphis one week before he passed away. But I am a huge Elvis fan, and uh, thank you for coming. Uh, today we celebrate the birth of one of Memphis's most famous and accomplished citizens, Elvis Presley. He was truly a cultural icon of the 20th century. The historical impact of Elvis's career as a singer and an actor is astonishing. Elvis sold, as you know, over a billion records and made 33 movies and he won three Grammys, all for gospel music. To date, he's the only performer to be inducted into 16 Hall of Music Hall of Fames. He set records. He set records for concert attendance, television ratings, record sales, and he still remains one of the best-selling and most influential artists in the market today. David Halberstam uh, wrote an award-winning book called The 50s, and he called, Memphis, uh, called Elvis an, innate, an innately talented young man who arrived at the right place at the right time, and he still lives on. He described Elvis' as humble beginnings, as you all know, in Tupelo, moved up to Memphis, and he changed the world. But despite his fame and his fortune, he always came home to Memphis, the city he loved. We are grateful for his military service, his generosity, his philanthropy, and his lasting impact. And we welcome you and all the tourists who come to Memphis and experience the city he loves. We look forward to the opening of the guest house down here, down the, around the corner, and happy birthday, Elvis. Thank you. Well, good morning to all of you. I, I'm just curious, how many of you are first timers? How many first, we got a few first time. How many of you are 10 timers? All right, hey, that's a consistent group. That is consistent. Thank you all for, for sharing in the national worldwide celebration of the 81 years of Elvis Presley. What a wonderful place to do that than right here at Graceland. Thank you all for being a part of this very special event for Memphis, Tennessee and for the Elvis Nation. You know, 
Reference was made a few moments ago to the new album that's out. Folks, Elvis is still alive. Elvis is alive. He is well. He is doing, you know, I, I bought about 10 of those and gave them out as Christmas gifts. And, and these were people that are just huge Elvis fans. And they said, we've never heard Elvis so good. Folks, it's going to get better. It is going to get better. So, as, uh, as we notice the new development down the road here, the hotel and all that will come with that, it'll be more than a hotel. It will be a destination vacation. So you all come on back once the hotel is built and all of the amenities around that have been established and continue to celebrate with us going forward in the years to come. And I can't wait to see what, al uh, what album Elvis puts out next. It's going to be great, isn't it? <laughs> you know, each year, each year, the mayor of Shelby County and the mayor of Memphis read a proclamation, and this is kind of a yuck-up type of proclamation, but we do it in sincerity because we want to stand together before the world and really talk about how fortunate we are to have Elvis as a part of our life and our culture, and we want you all to share in that celebration with us. So I'm uh, going to ask Mayor Strickland to come up, and he and I are going to read this proclamation, and and we're going to present it to you all, the great loyal fans of Elvis Presley. I'll start it off. Whereas Elvis Aaron Presley was born on this day in 1935 to Gladys Love and Vernon Elvis Presley in Tupelo, Mississippi, and... Whereas Elvis moved to Memphis, Tennessee at the age of 13, sort of like me, where his innate gifts as a musician and an entertainer would find their fullest voice... Whereas Elvis' prodigious talent first came to light at 706 Union Avenue in downtown Memphis, better known as Sun Studios, where he recorded for the legendary Sam Phillips, making music that rocked the world, and... Whereas Elvis gave the world hundreds of unforgettable songs from dozens of timeless albums, including such classics as Heartbreak Hotel, don't be cruel. Are you lonesome tonight? And suspicion, suspicious minds among the scores of others. And whereas Elvis played a, a tour of the world, appeared in numerous films and television programs, and served his country overseas, never allowing the bright flame of his talent and passion for music to dim. And whereas Elvis' unparalleled, um, unparalleled style and songcraft continues to thrill audiences, create fans, and inspire new generations of musicians around the world every year. Whereas no matter how far his career took him or how high his fame carried him, Elvis remained steadfastly devoted to Memphis, the city he loved, the city that inspired him, and the city that he called home. Now, now therefore, therefore, we, Jim Strickland, Mayor of the City of Memphis, and Mark Luttrell, the Mayor of Shelby County, do hereby proclaim January 8th of 2016 as the day to celebrate the life, the work, and the 81st birthday of Elvis Aaron Presley. Presley.